for this year. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Yushi. We will hear more about the uh, plans from uh, Catalin uh, Marinette. First virtual meeting of the Business Forum 2021 open consultation process on the thematic aspects, innovation and format. Let me give, begin by thanking our co-organizer, UNESCO, UNCTAD and UNDP and more than 30 UN agencies facilitating the Business Action Lines for their support and collaboration. This sets a good example of fostering digital transformation and global partnership for SDG achievements. We have successfully organized an increasingly successful platform for discussion and sharing of best practices in the use of ICTs as a mean of implementation of the SDGs. The merit of this forum lies in its truly inclusive and multi-stakeholder spirit. With its unique open consultation process, the agenda and the program of the VCS Forum are entirely crowdsourced with the active engagement of all stakeholders. This process is a tremendous opportunity for everyone to make their voice heard. The growth and success valuable inputs to the open consultation process. This year, VCS Forum was held in a completely virtual format and garnered a lot of interest and excitement worldwide with a cumulative attendance of over 15,000 attendees from around 150 countries who took part in more than 160 virtual sessions with 846 different speakers. The next VCS forum that will be held on 17 to interactive session. We have also taken into consideration all your suggestions that were submitted to us during VCS forum 2020 for the thematic aspects that might be included in Business Forum 2021. We are also inviting you to take up the 50-50 challenge to ensure gender neutral participation of the, at the Business Forum 2021. This year forum was a great experience as we had a well balance of participation in terms of gender, regions and type of stakeholder. Our discussion today will chart the path towards the success of Versus Forum 2021. We count on your active participation in this meeting and looking forward to your contributions. The success of Versus Forum is also, also dependent on the contributions to the Versus Funding Trust. So we look forward to your generous contributions that will avail you of the visibility that partnership offers. Thank you for strengthening the multi-stakeholder and bottom-up spirit of the VCS Forum by participating and engaging in this open consultation process. I wish you all a very productive meeting. Thank you. Over to I you, Gitanjali. Thank you very much, uh, Kathleen. Uh, just to let everybody know that uh, this uh, workshop is also being broadcasted through YouTube. So there are a lot of people uh, following us through YouTube as well. And we have over 50 participants with us right now. So it's my great pleasure to um, invite now our co-organizers as well. So uh, Mr. Joe uh, Hironaka from UNESCO is with us, who's the focal point of UNESCO. Uh, Joe, the floor is yours. Thank you, Gitanjali and, and uh, Turigoy Sam and friends. Um, good morning and good afternoon. Um, thank you to everyone out there uh, we see on this call. Uh, the fact that we and children and students have been fully adopted this year to communicating and talking directly at screens is during what's sad. Our fellow country, UNESCO, uh, France has seen 58,000 new positive COVID cases despite a full lockdown. Um, but it's clear um, that something is happening, you know, as well. Something interesting is happening, as um, Gitanjali will tell you, uh, WISIS uh, 2030 saw a record number of participants. Next year, uh, you may be amplifying and exchanging uh, your ideas with a, a far broader uh, reach than, than before, and the uh, impact and opportunities feel particularly great in terms of potential new collaborative collaborators you can aspire for, um, but that might not normally be able to, for instance, get visas or come to a physically hosted session. Um, 
and the value of a virtual voices holds true as well um, for reaching persons with uh, disability, um, indigenous and, and other minorities um, in a more fair and representative and, and ultimately, of course, very enriching way. Um, and we've seen uh, the record of participation this year, um, right? Um, among them, I believe, 7,000 women participants to ISIS from so many countries in, in 2020, meaning not just the ones where um, equality seems closest um, to being achieved. Um, the uh, ISIS program and agenda is 100% crowdsourced. And all one really needs to point to is the quality of the outcomes um, and the sessions to, to both see and to demonstrate um, further amplify to our, our partners how enriching this process uh, is. Um, and of course, we would like to see that momentum carried forward into the sessions you'll be organizing and caring about next year with uh, or without COVID. Um, of course, at UNESCO, we welcome your voice in each of our action lines. I, I, I won't go through them all. Um, um, but they're important and relevant for these specific times. And my, um, myself and Skilder and Alka, I would be very pleased to to work with you, you and your ideas if you if you raise them with us. Remember um, that UNESCO and the UN are a secretariat. We are secretaries, yeah, uh, to serve. Of course, the governments you are you are able to. Uh, choose, as well as you, thanks largely uh, to multi-stakeholder frameworks that embrace this opportunity and fight with you to make it a reality, such as like um, I can attest to the great value of a particular secretariat in Geneva to get time to leave, at, and also to her excellent colleagues you know, at every um, working level. So few, um, but but so but so committed. Um, so I joined them. It's a privilege um, as co-organizers in thanking you uh, for your attendance today. Thank you very much for your time and your spirit as well uh, going forward. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, UNESCO is a very uh, crucial partner of the VISIS process since its inception. So thank you very much to your, you and all your colleagues who collaborate so uh, well with all the different UN agencies. Um, uh, we all work together as a UN family to implement the VISIS action lines. So thank you very much. We would now move on to uh, Scarlett uh, from uh, UNCTAD. Uh, good morning, Scarlett, and Umtad is also the chair of the UNGIS group this year. Uh, please go ahead, Scarlett, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Gitanjali. Uh, first of all, welcome to all that have joined us from all over the world. Um, despite the, the coldness of, this, uh, mm -hmm. of these two meetings, it's also opened uh, the opportunity for more people to join us. Um, from different geographies, which uh, was not uh, possible in the past. So thank you for taking time of your busy days to join us uh, today. Um, Ongtad, uh, again, as always, is very honored to be sharing, co-organizing um, roles with uh, uh, the other uh, co-organizers of, um, of the OISIS Forum. This year has been uh, special for us, not only because we've been hit with this uh, completely unprecedented situation of a pandemic, which has actually forced us to go more online than uh, we had in the past, but also um, because it has highlighted a lot of the urgency in terms of the um, agenda that we have to, we have been tasked with pushing forward at ONCTAD in terms of developing the digital economy and leveraging um, opportunities of, of uh, digitalization for development and in particular this year to help countries uh, develop resilience to shocks such as what has been experienced uh, with the pandemic. ONCTAD, as you know, has um, a mandate to work on trade and economic issues. In terms of the WISIS uh, process, we are in particular 
uh, working with uh, promoting e-commerce and digi digital economy. And we are very grateful to be sharing uh, co-facilitator duties with uh, the Universal Postal Union and with the International Trade Center for the e-business action line of the WISIS uh, uh, process, uh, C7. So I would just like to recognize them uh, now because uh, this year, and especially the Universal Postal Union, um, have been very, very active in trying to uh, push forward the increasingly important role of e-business in, uh, in, in development in this year. Um, as, um, as you know, again, uh, not only are we working with WISIS process within our own um, working program, we have a fairly new uh, intergovernmental group of experts on e-commerce and the digital economy, which has met again this year virtually. And again, it, it just, um, it, it was uh, attended in an unprecedented manner in October by so many people from so many geographies and from different areas. It was an intergovernmental meeting, but it was a true multi-stakeholder participation in the image of this uh, WISIS forum. Just highlighting that the challenges we're facing in order to really bring out the benefits of digitalization for all um, requires the participation of all. Um, we also uh, managed to push forward our agenda in other ways despite um, the physical shutdown of facilities in Geneva where we're based. Um, as you might remember, ONCAT is also uh, acting as secretariat for the Commission of Science and Technology for Development, which is following up on WISIS implementation. We were able to meet virtually in June and discuss how science, uh, technology, and um, innovation are increasingly important uh, in these times, how we need to um, make sure that we really uh, harness those efforts in science, technology, and innovation to address the crisis we're facing with uh, COVID-19. And I would invite you, I'm going to share a link later on the chat to read the policy brief that Ankhat put out um, referring to these issues discussed by the Commission on Science and Technology for Development. Uh, you might also know that early during the, um, uh, the days of the pandemic this year, in April, we had an e-commerce week uh, virtually that um, also uh, highlighted all these issues and followed the multi-stakeholder model. And so many rich discussions uh, were held. Uh, I will also share the link to all the online resources that have um, that are available still now for everyone to to look at. Um, I would also like to say that uh, in terms of our uh, of, of the work on, on e commerce, despite the slowdown, despite the challenges uh, from all um, uh, uh, countries and stakeholders, um, we still have managed to publish four um, E-Trade for All Readiness Assessments, which only highlights how important, the importance that um, especially developing countries are giving to trying to become better ready to um, harness digitalization and to develop their uh, readiness for uh, e-commerce and the digital economy because they realize this has been a lifeline for um, many sectors, many struggling sectors um, these past few months. As Gitanjali mentioned, UNCTAD has been uh, appointed, uh, selected as uh, chair of ONGIS, the UN Group on the Information Society, starting this April. Uh, we'll be uh, fulfilling those duties at least until um, April next year when the next WISIS forum uh, takes place. And during this time, and view, looking at the circumstances, we have tried to um, uh, animate an online dialogue on how digitalization is not only helping us uh, address the issues raised by the pandemic, develop resilience, but also 
um, how it can help us accelerate progress towards um, the achievement of the SDGs. Um, as you know, this has been dubbed the decade of action and we're far from our stated objectives in development. Um, and this year has only um, served to press the need to accelerate uh, progress in this regard. So the heads of United, United Nations agencies that form ONGIS have uh, provided some thoughts uh, in terms of how we can leverage digitalization to accelerate progress in the decade of action and uh, face uh, the consequences, the impact of uh, COVID-19. The uh, dialogue is being hosted right now in the ONCTAD website, and I will also share the link to that. It has a benefit from 22 contributions for diff from different uh, parts of the UN system. And uh, the pieces have been published from June to October. And hopefully, stakeholders will find inspiration in some of the ideas that have been put forward by these thought leaders and bring them to the next WISIS forum for discussion and to continue the dialogue also with the uh, with, uh, uh, stakeholders. Finally, I would like to say that ONCTAD is a very active um, member of the Partnership on Measuring ICT for Development, uh, which has contributed every year to the WISIS Forum in terms of bringing forward um, the issues of, of data for measuring ICT for SDGs. Um, we have presented recently a thematic list of ICT indicators that could be served to um, help complement the measurement of progress towards the achievement of the sustainable development goals. Um, but also this year, partners have been faced with uh, increasing uh, requests and uh, evident needs of countries that have been um, that have grown because of the impact of COVID and national statistical offices, which are the usual uh, producers of official statistics on um, ICT are faced with uh, many, many obstacles in terms of data collection and production. Yet this sort of information is now crucial to be able to measure not only progress, but also um, the effectiveness of whatever policies we put in place now to try and alleviate the impact of COVID-19. So I would just like to point out that uh, we would welcome your contributions in terms of advancing the issue of needing better data, better statistics on ICT for development. And finally, I would just like to close uh, my remarks saying that if something has come out of these past few months is the evidence that the multilateral and the multi-stakeholder model is essential to tackle the situation and the challenges we're facing. So uh, I invite you to help make this multi-stakeholder and multilateral uh, model uh, alive and, and even uh, fill it with more purpose and more meaning and give all your contributions because we are all years here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Scarlett, and thank you for a strong collaboration from OMTAD on the uh, WISIS process. Uh, we are working together on several uh, aspects, including the uh, partnership on measuring ICTs for development. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, colleagues, uh, UNDP could not join us today because um, it's very early for our New York colleagues. Um, so, uh, but they have expressed their full collaboration and support as co-organizers to the WISIS process. So um, we have a very short presentation to update you about a few, um, about a few things that have been uh, planned for the business process for the business uh, forum and uh, we will take you through this presentation very quickly and then uh, we will open the floor uh, for your comments please raise your hands as and when you have a question and we will uh, take it from there
So the WISIS Forum, of course, you know, is in collaboration with uh, several UN agencies, uh, more than uh, 30 actually, uh, who work with us hand in hand to implement uh, the WISIS action lines uh, and align them with the sustainable development goals. So since 2015, we have been making sure that the WISIS process has an impact on the sustainable development goals and that we are uh, contributing towards uh, their achievement. Um, we, uh, as you all know, the dates for the WISIS Forum 2021 are 17 to 21st of May. And uh, basically, um, the dates are uh, decided based on um, the reservations we have made out here in Geneva for the spaces, which are very difficult to uh, get. Um, but uh, right now, um, looking at the COVID situation, we are tracking it very closely. Um, we are um, exploring different formats on how uh, we would uh, do the WISIS Forum. Uh, definitely, you all appreciated uh, the virtual format that uh, we adapted to uh, this year. So we will be looking forward to more uh, inputs from you on how we could improve. Uh, but right now, uh, we will plan, uh, we will start with our planning uh, of the WISIS Forum through the open consultative process which is uh, online. Uh, this is our, we launched it on the 9th of September. This is our first virtual meeting that we do in collaboration with IGF every year. Last year, we were there in Germany, in Berlin, uh, to inform you about the process. Uh, and the second physical virtual meeting is uh, planned in uh, around January. So the date could change. We'll have to look at the, uh, the way things evolve. And of course, a very important deadline for you is the deadline for submissions, which is 8th of March. So as all of you know, we have a submission form and the agenda of the pro and program of the WISIS Forum is built on the basis of this form. So I request you to fill up the form as soon as possible, because uh, what we may do is probably also uh, have it uh, in phases, the WISIS Forum, in, 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 if we cannot accommodate everything in a week, uh, like we did in 2020. So please do submit your submission forms uh, even today, even though you do not know who your speakers are, but submit your forms with the request of workshops and exhibi exhibition spaces um, as soon as possible. Please do not wait for the 8th of March. Uh, do uh, submit it um, as soon as you have an idea of what you want to do at the WISIS Forum. So, of course, uh, we will also plan the high-level track. Uh, we will wait on the different uh, um, inputs we receive for the format. So, we will have the high-level policy sessions, the ministerial roundtable, which was extremely successful this year as well, and the high-level dialogues. As you all know, the high-level track facilitators, they play a very important role uh, in... Um, basically moderating and conducting the different high level tracks that we have at the WISIS Forum. And these are nominated uh, by you. So please do send in the nominations as soon as possible so that uh, we can uh, work closely with them and we can implement this as soon as possible. So uh, Vladimir, I invite you to please present the stock taking and prizes. Thank you, Gitanjali, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all participants. Uh, for those um, who are new to the process, I would like to uh, inform you that uh, the business stock taking process um, has been coordinated by ITU and it's a very important process of the implementation of the business uh, action lines. Since 2004, we have been collecting the good um, ICT practices and initiatives that have furthered the development around the world. And um, so far, we have received uh, more than 13,000 entries to this uh, very important international repository. Another um, important uh, highlight is that since 2015, we have uh, fully aligned uh, the VC stock taking with the United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda. And we are also following how these uh, examples from the ground uh, using ICTs are also achieving sustainable development goals. There are more than 350,000 registered stakeholders at the platform. And um, this year only we have uh, received more than 800 submissions. In addition to this, um, I would like to invite all of you to continue following the process. Uh, the new call for the Visistock Taking Report 2021 
is uh, on, is launched, and I will share with the, in, in chat uh, soon the link to, uh, to it. Um, in, to, in 2020, uh, the VCIS publications uh, that we have launched, uh, as you can see in this uh, slide, have covered not only the general report of uh, the 2020 submissions, but also uh, included the success stories, uh, which comes as a compilation of the VCIS prizes, which is the integral part of the VCIS stock taking. Besides uh, these two uh, annual reports, this year we had um, launched uh, the, um, some new reports, including the um, COVID-19 case repository, which uh, compiles uh, and collects the responses to coronavirus uh, and the use of ICTs. Uh, more than 300 were submitted so far. This is an ongoing call and I do invite all of you to um, first explore this uh, opportunity and um, uh, share your, your good work on uh, addressing this issue. In addition to this, um, each two years, uh, every two years, uh, we are also issuing uh, regional reports to the VC stock taking, of course, with the aspect of um, uh, you know, compilation of all these um, um, uh, two-year submissions um, with, uh, on, on a regional angle. In the next slide, you will see that uh, an additional effort that um, uh, I was uh, referring to has been, uh, as I mentioned, quite, quite a success. Uh, it's uh, very timely, and um, we do invite all of you not only to, uh, to share, but to promote this opportunity, as uh, many of the good examples uh, can be replicated and used well. In addition to this, uh, another kind of a stock taking uh, repository uh, that we do is uh, the VCIS Forum Contest. Uh, this uh, was launched uh, three years ago, and so far we have received hundreds of very good uh, photos depicting how ICTs are helping the development. And uh, this year we have received more than 200 submissions. Um, some of the finalists and champions, of course, are listed at the VCIS Photo Contest website. The deadline for the 2021 is 8th of March. Now, the VCIS prizes, uh, as I mentioned, as an integral part of the VCIS stock taking, uh, was launched in 2012. Uh, so far, more than uh, close to 4,000 projects uh, were submitted for this uh, very important global contest. And in this year, uh, uh, more than 800 were submitted. 354 were nominated, and the 90 champions and winners were celebrated um, uh, during the final week of the VCIS Forum. 18 win winners were announced, and I do invite all of you to go to the VCIS Prizes 2020 website to learn who they are and promote their success. The new call uh, is launched, uh, and uh, I will share the link to how you can submit your ICT projects, but also other entities' uh, projects that deserve to be globally promoted. The deadline for submission to the VCIS Prizes is 25th of January next year. Please let us know, uh, contact us if you have any additional questions uh, to these mentioned repositories. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Vladimir. We look forward to receiving uh, your, in, uh, your uh, submissions for the VCIS prizes, VCIS stock taking, the uh, photo contest. And we have received a lot of suggestions from stakeholders to expand the photo contest also to a video um, uh, contest, a uh, video uh, contest. So we will be working with all of you uh, on that. They will be short vi videos, uh, maybe say um, uh, less than uh, 30 seconds, uh, just depicting what's happening in your, um, uh, in your project. So we will be um, soon launching that in with your collaboration and uh, hopefully they will all be very useful for everyone. Um, so just some of the um, uh, special tracks that uh, were appreciated in 2020 and we've been asked to uh, sort of also further explore these um, ICT and youth, ICT and accessibility, gender mainstreaming. Uh, as my colleagues already shared with you, uh, this year we had great success. Uh, we had 50-50 participation of men and women uh, in the beginning in uh, June and July. It went down in uh, mid of July and August, and then um, it went up high again in September. So we had extremely good statistics. Um, which are all online. Uh, and in fact, in Latin America, from the Latin American region, we had more women than men uh, participating. Um, extended reality for SDGs, uh, but this would also look at more like virtual reality and 
uh, augmented reality for uh, development. ICT and older persons, we initiated this this year. It was really appreciated. There were many things highlighted, in, including the lack of standards uh, for ICTs and older persons. Um, so we will uh, be doing many more things in 2021 in collaboration with our partner, Global Coalition on Aging, and uh, Raymond Morel, who we've been working with very closely from uh, CSEND as well. Uh, ICTs and sport, um, uh, we will have to explore. Um, it, it is being well appreciated, but uh, we definitely need new dimensions uh, into this activity. And there was also a request to uh, do a track on uh, cybersecurity. Uh, so VISIS Forum, um, as uh, Yushi and Kathleen also mentioned, uh, we are an extra budgetary activity. So please uh, do contribute to the VISIS uh, Fund and Trust. The visibility packages will soon be available online. Um, and uh, as we uh, learned um, in 2020, uh, the visibility can be enhanced in so many ways through the uh, virtual uh, VISIS uh, forum. Um, so we were able to come up with very innovative ideas, with videos, good social media messaging, and very uh, concentrated um, visibility for our partners through the virtual format. So please do uh, contribute to our funding trust and we look forward to our traditional partners uh, also joining us in 2021. So please do join us in our social media channels uh, for all the updates, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our VISIS Flash, which is a monthly newsletter. So just very quickly, reminder for open calls, VISIS prizes, deadline 25th January, uh, open consultation process to request for workshops, exhibition space, speakers, and to provide input on the format and themes. Deadline 8th March, but please do not wait till 8th of March. Uh, do send in your submissions so that we can uh, phase out the planning. And uh, with your permission, maybe we could also have uh, uh, two deadlines um, so that we can have uh, some um, uh, requests collected by January, say end of January, and we could, you know, uh, start implementing those aspects as well. Looking at this new uh, virtual concept, um, we cannot concentrate everything in the week so that everybody from different time zones can um, follow us. The photo contest, 8th of March, which will also be expanded into a video contest and high level track facilitators, which is 8th of March. So thank you very much. This was a briefing uh, from our side, the secretariat and colleagues. Now the floor is open. So please raise your hand and we will allow you to uh, speak. We will mute you. We will unmute you and allow you to speak. So please do raise your hand. I do see many of our uh, active stakeholders online. Uh, maybe, maybe I could invite uh, Mr. Peter Major. Peter, if you could please raise your hand and I could unmute you. Okay. So I am not sure what happened. Yes, uh, I'm not being able to um, unmute. Uh, would uh, Shelby or Carolina please be able to help us? Um, so let me assign your host to you, then you can do that. So, okay. So now you can unmute. Okay, so colleagues, yeah. I'll be able to unmute now. So, uh, okay, Shelby, I'm still not able to do that. Uh, maybe you could please post your comments uh, on the chat in the meanwhile. Uh, okay, so um, sir, um, make me back the host then. If the person want to speak, I can just unmute the person. So assign, we assign the host back to me then I can, um, Make the I can unmute people who want to speak. All right. So Shelby, I have made you the host. Okay. So um, if you could please unmute Mr. Peter Major. Peter. 
Hold the name again, please. The okay. name again, please. Mr. Peter Major, okay. P E T E R M A J O R. Okay, so I have asked him to unmute, but. Okay, colleagues, uh, I think there seems to be, uh, we, um, we are not being able to unmute you, but please do uh, submit your questions in the Q&A. Uh, we do have one from uh, Mokabri uh, Amir Hussain. Um, and uh, so what is the UN the family? Country, I think uh, Gitanjali, Mr. Major was moved in the, as a panelist and probably now he can be unmuted. Sure. So uh, we will just move on to Peter. So I'm just reading out Mr. Amir Hussain's question. He's saying that what can the UN family and IQ do to address the vital issue of COVID-19? So we did speak about this uh, uh, and uh, uh, we also shared the stock taking repository. UNCTAD and UNESCO also shared some of their activities. Uh, please do go on to our uh, home pages where we have dedicated pages for uh, COVID-19 and what our institutions are doing. So if you could unmute uh, uh, Peter now, it would be nice to hear from him. All right, so um, I have um, promoted Peter unless uh, um, he tries to speak up because I have asked him to on mute, but it's from his end, so he has to check from his side. All right, so uh, there is some uh, problem there, I guess. So that colleagues, please do promote, please do type in your questions. I'm sure there are many questions uh, you will have uh, or inputs and uh, raise your hand if you want to take the floor. Uh, Shelby, please let us know if the raise your hand function is available. Yes, please. It is a, it is available. So, um, as at now, I have allowed everyone to talk. So, if you want to talk, you can unmute your mic. Then you speak. So, um, so that they will give you the floor. So now okay. everyone can um, unmute the mic and and speak. If you raise your your hand and they give you the floor, you can unmute your mic and. Okay, colleagues. So as you hear, heard from the IGF secretariat, so we have host. Uh, he would like to speak. Uh, so, Shelby, you can see his hand is up. So, could you please allow him to speak, Mr. Horst uh, Kremers? Hello, good morning. Um, as um, some of you know, I'm personally involved in the uh, kind of uh, information management of the uh, WCS process. And uh, I'm looking forward for for having another so fantastic, inciting, exciting uh, session in next year. And uh, for us, uh, I see the problem um, that we have to foster um, having really management principles, uh, which go into details to cover the whole process, it's not just project oriented or single aspect. There is a governance of information management. It's a, it's a very complicated, of course, but uh, we have to compare, go back to the text of the United Nations instruments that are, are collected there. I myself am mainly involved also in uh, UNDRR, disaster risk reduction, and um, and the, the, I observe that uh, uh, not all the details written in the text of such instrument are, are clearly uh, addressed nationally and internationally. And this is what I, uh, why do I tell this in voices? Yeah, I think it's a matter of the addressing the information society at large that we are uh, doing by doing very detailed information processing in all these aspects, we are supporting active and informed citizenry by that way. And we are operationalizing our responsibility for health, safe and security of people and planet. And for not only for current, but also for future generations. So also the young generation should be interested of having reliable and trustworthy and quality information in all those details. Yes, it's complicated, 
but uh, together with that whole society, give, with this, gives a very good uh, 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 plenary for addressing these issues. Thank you for all your effort and uh, let's cooperate next year. Thank you very much, your host. We look forward to your collaboration and we will be in touch with you. Please do remember to fill up the OCP form as soon as possible. I can see that there are many prize winners who also want to uh, talk. Um, Mr. Lee from Singapore, uh, maybe we can unmute you and you can speak. You have already been upgraded as a panelist. The floor is yours, Mr. Lee. Uh, please, I think Peter Major um, has has unmuted the mic, so he can speak now. Sure, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Major, the floor is yours. Thank you, Gitanjali. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm happy to, to participate in this open consultation. Uh, first of all, let me congratulate uh, you and all the uh, partner UN agencies for organizing uh, this meeting and the previous ones as well, and uh, I really appreciate it because I know how difficult it is to to uh, uh, compete with other events and to maintain the quality what you have maintained. Now, uh, very shortly, CSTD, and as you know, I'm the chair of the CSTD, is uh, mandated to to review the business process uh, <coughs> uh, on an annual basis. And I'm really happy to, to see that uh, the commitments are being fulfilled. So I look forward to the next uh, edition of the Visits Forum, and I hope to be able to participate eventually physically rather than virtually. So uh, once again, thank you again for the opportunity to talk. Thank you very much, Peter, and thank you also uh, for your constant support, uh, also good collaboration with the uh, CSTV. So uh, colleagues, uh, please note that once you are upgraded as a speaker, you can also switch on your camera and it would be really nice to see you. Uh, though we are not there face to face, but at least it really brings a smile to our face to see you. Uh, Mr. Lee from Singapore, the floor is yours. Uh, you have been upgraded as a panelist and you can speak. So I think Mr. Lee is having some problems, but Guacomo is ready to speak. Guacomo from EBU, please, the floor is yours. Uh, hi, thank you for the floor. Um, <laughs> I wish a nice day to all of you. Um, yes, um, in the WSS process this year, there were two uh, major issues that um, were for me particularly important. One is, is has been already mentioned, and it's about disasters, and it's for me the question of the emergency communication. So I would like um, to know what uh, will remain after the, the panel that we had uh, on this topic and what will be in the roadmap for the next steps of the WSAS. And the second, of course, is the one about the information, the reliability of information that we have seen that is crucial in any process, COVID-19 crisis, uh, as well as um, disaster relief and communication and in all fields. Um, what remains uh, of these two the experiences during the WSS of this year for the roadmap ahead of us. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Guacomo. Of course, um, uh, you know, all these topics that you have mentioned, they have been uh, very important in the WSS process, also through the action lines of access, the environment, media, and so on. And you have been uh, very uh, uh, active in this area. We also had a high level dialogue this year um, and we would encourage you and your partners to already start planning for 2021 because as you know and Joe also said we are just the secretariat to facilitate your work and to uh, ensure that there is a collaboration. So uh, please we look forward to receiving your inputs. I'm very sorry about this noise. It is uh, the clock okay. in my house. Okay. So, so <laughs> sorry I, about that. I so we will send you in talk. writing. What you suggest is uh, in the form of feedback, we can include uh, ideas for the next steps. Uh, Guacomo, the procedure is to submit it through the form, the OCP submission form. 
Okay. So that we officially have a submission from you and your partners and it becomes an integral part of the agenda and the program. So this is what we would like to request all of you to do, to submit through the official submission form as soon as possible so that we can start planning all the uh, agenda, get, get an, uh, an input from you guys on what the top, what are the important topics? What are the different formats we could use? For example, um, we heard from one of you that uh, you attended a knowledge cafe, which was very interesting in a virtual format. And we definitely would like to try that for the Visis Forum. Uh, our partners from the Global Coalition on Aging already submitted to us that they would like to have cross-generational uh, virtual coffees. Um, and, and discuss the issue of ICTs and to have some sort of interaction with young people. So uh, we are going to plan all of this as well as part of the ICTs and older persons track. Um, so ba basically we are at your hands. Please submit to us uh, any inputs that you may have. So colleagues, um, we still have uh, some time left. So I can see we have many colleagues who wanted to talk, Brenda uh, Escobar, Brenda, if you would like to talk, you need to raise your hand so that we can allow you to speak. Uh, we also have Mr. Lee uh, from Malaysia. Sorry, my mistake, not from Singapore, but from Malaysia. So Mr. Lee, uh, if you would like to speak, you need to uh, raise your hand and we unmute you. We also have Mr. Alfredo Ronchi. Um, who has been a uh, part of the process since a very long time. And uh, we have a raised hand from uh, Mr. Amir Hussain. If uh, Shelby, you could try to uh, allow him to speak. Okay, okay, so um, he's allowed now and he can speak now. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you uh, for giving me the floor. Uh, sir, we cannot hear you clearly. Can you please go closer to your mic? Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, is it clear now? Yes, yes. Uh, hello, everyone, especially distinguished panelists, uh, excellencies, and dear colleagues. Uh, I would like to thank you, Tanjali, for your effort uh, for convening this time decision. I'm Mokabberi from Iranian academic community. Uh, we cannot hear you. Um, we cannot hear you, sir. Okay, we will try to bring uh, uh, him back. Um, in the meanwhile, do we have any other input? We also see our colleagues from IEEE here. Constance, uh, would you like to take the floor? We can just unmute there you. A, Gitanjali, there is a question in chat. If you want, I can read it out. Yes, please. It's from uh, Maria Bolshakova, excusing herself for using the chat as uh, she's having issues with the microphone. So uh, Maria is saying um, congratulations to Visis Forum 2020 on holding such a great event, which gathered so many participants, uh, experts and high level representatives this year. Thanks to the organizers of the session for providing an opportunity to discuss future Visis Forum as key platform for accessing intermediate results of such an important and complicated process of building and developing global information society. As a representative of the Russian Federation, I would like to express our sincere support for all Visis related activities and underline the critical importance of the Visis Forums, considering a strong link between the Visis process and the 2030 agenda especially in unprecedented circumstances of COVID-19 pandemic. The VCS process should be extended to 2030 and its results should be assessed within close relation with the assessment of the 2030 agenda implementation results. I would also like to note that one of the possible ways of holding VCS Forum 2021 is to hold in a mixed format. The general segment events may be organized in the format of remote participation, and high level segment to be held in face to face format. The colleague uh, that uh, was just joining us from Iran, uh, Mr. Mokaberi Amir Hossein, uh, also raised the question in chat. Uh, he was referring uh, his question uh, related to the digital sanctions um, 
post um, and uh, this would be it. Um, also, uh, I have shared uh, the links for submissions. Please go to this is Forum 2021 uh, website, also this is Prizes 2021 website for more information related to the submission, online submission forms. Thank I you very much, all, Vladimir. We really appreciate all the input we received from our uh, friend from Russia. Uh, we will be in touch with you. Please also do uh, submit through the OCP because that on the basis of that form, we build the agenda. So it would be important for you to submit your official, uh, uh, we, we, basically like all of us said, the co-organizers also said, we are just secretariat and we implement your uh, ideas and your activities and we make sure that we are able to serve you in the best possible way. Um, so please do submit through the open consultative process and we will be in touch with you as soon as we receive your uh, submission. Uh, we do not we see, okay, we see one hand raised from, hand from and Lee. that is from Mr. Lee. Uh, Mr. Lee from Malaysia, also a prize winner. Please go ahead, Mr. Lee. <clears throat> Hi, uh, Miss uh, Gitanjali and the, and the team. Sorry, just uh, so noticed another Lee over there. <laughs> Sorry. Was, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, okay. Our feedback will be in this way. I think the process is great. Okay. Um, particularly in particular, in particular, I'm um, I'm looking at the uh, there's one special track for the cybersecurity. There's something that we have to focus on. Uh, and I do hope that in the year 2021, we will have some uh, methods, uh, uh, some, um, uh, some way to, uh, to get some of this project be implemented, okay, the implementation side. So um, that's uh, ultimately from uh, Malaysia. Okay, this is what we are looking forward to. Okay? And def definitely, we would like to work more closely together with the team over here. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. And thank you very much, Mr. Lee. And thank you for your collaboration. Uh, we saw that you were very active all through the Visis Forum 2020. Uh, we will definitely put you in touch with uh, the different inputs we receive on cybersecurity for the cybersecurity track. So uh, you all can uh, work together also to avoid uh, overlaps uh, because uh, we would uh, like to avoid any uh, sort of overlaps on topics and encourage collaboration. So thank you very much uh, for, for all your input and congratulations for winning the prize. <laughs> so uh, colleagues, uh, we, we have two more minutes. So anyone else who would like to talk, uh, I was informed by, that Brenda would like to talk, but I don't see her here uh, anymore. Alfredo Ronchi, Alfredo? Uh, would you like to take the floor? You need to raise your hands. Hello, I'm, I'm, should I turn you? Hello, um, sir, please. I think Mr. Um, Hussein is back. So maybe if um, he can continue. Yeah. Sure, Mr. Hussein, we can hear you now. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, due to some technical issue, I couldn't. Uh, uh, excuse uh, me, sir. Could you please go closer to your mic? Uh, yes. Uh, it's better right now. Yes. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, especially distinguished panelists and uh, dear colleagues. Uh, I would like to thank uh, you, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Kitanjali for your effort uh, in the West. Uh, I would like to thank you uh, for convening uh, this timely session. Uh, I'm Mokaber from Iranian academic community. Uh, I would like to raise a vital issue here. Uh, as you all know, the effect of uh, unilateral digital sanctions on some nations have become intensive and more destructive, especially during COVID-19 pandemic and other emergencies. These digital sanctions on in investment in ICT infrastructure, digital uh, technology and digital resources like IPs, DNS systems and access to networks are key barriers in achieving, in achieving national development goals using ICTs and I think constitute human rights violation in cyberspace. My question is, what's the UN family 
role, and especially Wister's role, uh, and what the Wister's can and should do to, to address this vital issue. Uh, it would be appreciated if any of panelists can elaborate on this question. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to rise this issue. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir, for your question. Uh, the objective of this meeting is to uh, actually basically uh, encourage all stakeholders to contribute to the open consultative process of the VISIS forum. So uh, we look at all the suggestions and ideas and uh, please encourage you to submit it to the open consultative process. If you think that you would like to uh, discuss a certain issue at the upcoming VISIS forum, if you would like to contribute something to the stock taking process. So uh, please, we look forward to receiving your submission as well. Uh, uh, on the form that has been shared on the chat. So, sir, please uh, submit your contribution there. Um, we are now thank about- Thank you for to, your attention uh, and your, right, thank you for your guidance. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We are now uh, running out of time, but we do see we had many of yeah. our colleagues present here, our colleagues from Poland, uh, Marsen and Wojciech, our colleagues from IEEE, several prize winners like Brenda, uh, and our uh, WTO colleague, Ms. Lee uh, uh, Chal Hill. Um, so colleagues, uh, thank you very much for joining us and for your continuous support. Uh, we will make sure that we follow your ideas and inputs and uh, make the Business Forum 2021 um, a very successful event uh, as well. So yes, thank Anjali, you very much. There is, there is uh, a raised hand. Pardon, Vladimir? There is a raised hand from Brenda and also Alfredo, if you still have time to allow them. Um, okay, Brenda, very quickly, if you would like to take the floor, Brenda. Yes, so, so first, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Just uh, so first comment. Um, I am not sure about the criteria uh, that uh, are you going to you are going to take for the next year, but uh, I guess uh, it is uh, definitely a difficult year for everybody. Uh, here in Mexico City, like uh, government of Mexico City is uh, are really challenged. We have a short time for our projects. Uh, we have uh, less uh, or minimal resources for our projects. So I'm not sure about the criteria that uh, you will take for the next year. In I mean, in the kind of project that uh, you will uh, evaluate. Uh, I know about the categories, but uh, maybe the kind of project will be so different for the next year. This is just my comment. Yeah. And thank you very much for your efforts and for yeah. this uh, virtual session during the year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brenda. Congratulations on winning your prize. Uh, basically, uh, the prize contest is open and inclusive. So anything that you're doing in the areas of action, there's no restriction. Any activity in the area of ICTs for uh, development, the WISIS action line for development, please do submit it and uh, uh, it will be accepted. So there are no criteria. The only criteria is to fill up your form correctly and to answer. We receive several forms with just blank spaces and then we are called saying that why, did, why was this not accepted? So please do submit your information correctly. It doesn't matter if the English is not perfect. We will work with you. Call us if you need any help to submit the form. Uh, we are always there, but uh, please submit your form correctly and there is no other uh, criteria. So we uh, look forward to receiving all the different uh, nominations for next year. So colleagues, um, I, I see, okay, if we could very quickly also get in Alfredo Ronchi and then we will close. Alfredo, uh, you have never missed any open consultative process meeting. So the floor is yours. Okay, hi, Jitanjani. Um, hello, hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know exactly your time zone at the moment. No, um, due to the short time, I'd like just to, to remind that I will for, fill up the form and submit some, some requests for the next open consultation. Probably we'll keep in touch with Giacomo Mazzone because we seem to have some uh, common ideas and, and uh, interest. So, okay, thank you very much. Uh, we will, I hope to see all of you in 2021 in a physical meeting if possible or anyway, we will keep in touch online. Thanks, thanks, Gitanjani, thanks, Vladimir, thanks to all the ITU staff.
Thanks. And Bye. Thank you very much, uh, Alfredo. Alfredo has never missed any open consultative meeting or any business meeting since 2009. So he has been present in every meetings. Thank you, uh, Alfredo. And maybe before we leave, if all of you could switch on your camera, all of you are able to, if you could please switch on your camera for a photograph, as many as possible, please. Uh, if you could allow that uh, in some way, Shelby, if all our participants could switch on their cameras. Vladimir, uh, if you could take the lead in taking some pictures. Sure. If I can ask uh, everyone um, to look at their camera for next uh, three seconds and smile, please. Thank you very much. Uh, you look uh, beautiful. Uh, Thanks for joining the session. Thank you very much. We'll be working with you soon. Sure. Thank you very much. And uh, look forward to hearing from all of you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. Thank you. Very efficient. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ciao. Uh, thank you to Shelby and Carolina as well. Thank you for your great work. Thank you. Goodbye to all and stay safe and healthy. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for your time too. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Shelby, you will send us the recording, right? Yes, please. Yes, please. So, um. The secretariat of IGF will have all those recordings, and then they will send it to the various um, um, all right. And thank you very much. Thank you for all your help, Shelby. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Good have luck with the rest of your moderation. Thank you, Mr. Lee, and thank you, Mr. Lee. Team in Malaysia. Thank okay, thank you. Thanks for joining. Me. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you, Vladimir. It was a good Thank meeting. You, I'll see you at the next meeting. See you at the next meeting. Get a lot of thanks, thankings uh, in chat. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Shelby. Bye bye. 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 Okay, so we'll keep in touch, bye. Yes. Keep in touch. Okay, okay.